Hello everyone, and welcome back to the first video of the new edition of Super Metroid. Alright, we're gonna try this out, see hopefully, hopefully everything loads. Okay, it looks like it's loading. Okay, good. Alright, so, ooh, new feature on uh, this uh, Camtasia. Whoa, too loud. Alright, turn it down. Okay, a little bit. Maybe a little more. Okay. Uh, duration meter. So now I can put it at exactly 15-ish minutes, and we won't have to worry about that. You know what I forgot? I forgot to um to program my controller. One one second. All right, over here. Yes, I know. Why are you recording this? Because I can. That's why. Gamepad. Gamepad. Okay. Oh god, now I'm not going to be able to remember how to do it. And then everyone's going to be like, It's over there, you should know. I'm like, Ugh. Okay, input. Okay, gamepad, uh, set keys. Okay. Okay. Up, down, left, right. Uh, start, select. A, B, X, Y. Um, L, R. Okay. Alright, let's see if that works. I might have to reconfigure it again. But, um, hopefully... Hopefully that'll work. Alright. Okay. So yes, I know people might be asking, uh, Enemy Unknown, why are, why are you doing this again? Because I did a terrible job the first time. I didn't include Serious Station, which I want to do this time. Um, it was just a bad recording in general, and it wasn't very consistent, and uh, I think the commentary could have been a little bit better. Should we put it on? No, we won't put it on German. Is it already set to night? Anyway, all right. Oh yes, it's this. So Holy cow! I downloaded a German wrong. This is gonna be awesome. Glitch the Metroid. Is that? Uh, is that uh, okay, I'm not gonna do that because I'm probably gonna offend someone who actually knows German. So uh, let's go through this first battle of the Metroids and planets. Heaps. It was there that I followed the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Dun dun. Dun dun. Okay. Uh, oh, continue on. And Fuhrer. <laughs> uh, Mother Brain. Same in English as it is in German. So here we are, uh, defeating Mother Brain the first time from the NES version. Of course, the graphics have been updated. It didn't look like that in the NES version. I can guarantee you it did not look like that. Anyway. I can't believe I downloaded a German ROM. I wonder what other things are in German. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting missile upgrades in German. SR388. Astrotten. And here's the uh, baby. The baby Metroid hatching. And then, oh my god, Gila with fire. No. It follows us, and that was from uh, Return of Samus, second game. And uh, that little bastard is going to be haunting us haunting us for eternity. I swear it. No. No, he won't. He, he's a cool guy. I think they named him Rick. I'm kidding. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just excited. I'm excited. Are you people excited? Are you excited for this LP? You're probably not. Then again, if you're watching it, maybe you are. But I don't know why you're watching this. I have no clue. You saw my first one, you probably thought, well, this is terrible, and then you loaded this one, and you're like, oh, this is better, but... I mean, I'm no professional LP or anything. You're not going to see any crazy editing. Uh, scientists uh, finding sounding, uh, harnessing, figure the civilization. So they're trying to use the Metroid. Basically, they're juicing it. It's how I see it. If you, got, if you see there, we got kind of like a blend tech total blender in the center of the screen there, and they're uh, juicing the Metroid for all the power. No, that's not true. Um, yeah, and then she, of course, left the station because silly her thinking that she could leave it on a space station out in the middle of space. A Metroid, a baby Metroid. You think, oh, well, nothing will happen. You're wrong. You're wrong, Samus. You done goofed. And now we're going to have to journey to the core of Zeebs, to, but not before we go to Ceres Station. Alright, so you might have to bear with me, folks, because I might have to readjust a little bit. Readjust my controller setup, because I'm kind of particular with it. 
because I suck enough as it is with this game, so, you know, okay, so that's, so that's jump, and then, and then that's, so, oh, this is, this is, this is not a good setup for me, um, hold on, one, one, okay, so, let's see, what I put that to, A needs to be to, um, okay, so these all need to, uh, let's just mess around with it, why not? I know you're thinking, oh my god, enemy unknown, you're doing it again. I know I'm doing it again, okay? Yes, and I just clicked on that thing again. I know I'm doing it again, and I know I'm wasting video. But this is part of the whole thing, you know? Uh, what am I doing? Okay, so X is jump. I want X on... No, I want X on. I want X on 1, so... X goes to one. Uh, a what was what was a? A was I want on this, and then let's move this to here. Let's let's try that real quick. That, this might not work. Okay, let, let's see that. Okay, so um, almost. Okay, so let's let's change one and three around. Okay, and then and then we'll be good. I think. I think. I'm not sure, but I think. Okay, move one and three around, so that's X, okay, so this goes to this, and this, hey, hey, okay, this goes to that, okay, let's try that, let's see if this works for me, okay, so, okay, now what have I done, what have I done, oh god, no, this is not, okay, so four and one need to be, uh, I'm almost seven minutes into the video and I haven't done anything except complain and mess everything up. I'm sorry. I mess everything up. Okay, so A, I want. Okay, and then, and then this to this. Is that? Okay, so let's try this. You know what? This, this should work. I, I think I, I think I got a setup that'll work for me. Uh, I'll have to get used to it, as I always do every time I do controller settings. I remember I once put I have a gamepad here, a Logitech gamepad position. If anyone's curious, um, I once set it up so that way I shoot on my shoulder buttons because that was the most comfortable for me with all the dashing and jumping. But I'm not going to do that this time because I actually kind of want my shoulder buttons because they're useful, you know, to be able to aim diagonally at times. Oh, oh wow. Well, that was easy. We got the Metroid. It's in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Oh, well, all right. Game over, I guess. Well, what is, oh, God. Okay, yeah, who didn't see that coming? Yeah, Ridley's got the baby, and basically what you're supposed to do here is just get you a certain amount of life, so I'm just going to spare you guys and just get my ass kicked here, so that way I can finish this up. And we can go ahead and get out of here and actually start the game. Man, I'm, I'm happy that YouTube has the 15-minute uh, limit now. That'll be nice. Okay, so emergency. I don't know what the emergency is. Self-destruct? Oh god, the... Rammstaschen. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be fun. We have a German guy narrating the entire game for me. That'll be nice. So as you can see, we have one minute. You got it here, which is plenty of time, even for someone who's maybe a little bit more cavalier with the game. Kind of like me, you know? So, good. Um, if you play this on Super Metroid Impossible, there's lots of LPs of that, or at least one. Um, you have 20 seconds to get through this. You have to do everything perfectly. You have to jump at the right times, not get hit by any of the steam. Um, this part is kind of a bitch on a... Oh! Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get used to these controller settings. Um, yeah, but like, I'm already at, I'm already been dead for, yeah, almost eight seconds. I would've had to do way better. It's actually one of the harder parts in that game. So, okay, so the station is exploding, and we get out just in the nick of time, because we're Samus Aran, and we're a badass. We're a complete and utter badass. And we're hot. We're a complete, hot, utter badass. All right, so now we're uh, we're following Ridley. I don't know if they actually made that point apparent in the actual game, but that's actually how we end up here, is because we actually follow Ridley through space. I don't know how a dragon, I mean, it's a dragon, sure, but how does it fly through space? 
You know, you're saying, yeah, let me know it's a video game. I know it's a video game, but I'm just curious. I'm curious if they ever actually went into that. Like, does he have, like, a fish bowl that he puts over his head? So they can, you know, have some oxygen or something like that. I don't know. I don't claim to know anything. So, okay. So now we're in playing games and it's, you know, it's pretty desolate and empty. And you're like, well, what's this? This isn't fun. There's nothing to shoot. Yeah, I, I understand that. It's, it's supposed to be part of the atmosphere. That's it. God, it's controller settings. Anyway. I go down here. The long shaft. And, uh, proceed down. And we're gonna collect our first power up. And, see, I did that. I did it right that time. My first LP, I screwed that part up. But now I'm gonna just screw everything else up because I have to get used to this controller. Anyway, that was the area where we just went through when we fought Mother Brain the first time. And uh, now we're going to go further down. We're going to get our first power up and uh, start to head up to the next area. I have a pretty good understanding of where I'm going in this game. Um, this won't be a 100% run, just like last time. I will get all of the energy tanks, though. Because I have, in all the years of playing this game, I have memorized that. Oh, it didn't say Morphin Ball in German. I'm a little upset. I kind of don't want to see. Octine Morphin Zugen. Okay, that was racist. Actually, it's not racist because I'm German. I just, you know, I wasn't born in Germany or anything like that. What the hell? That wasn't supposed to happen. I just shot through all those blocks at once. That was weird. I guess the German version is souped up. I don't know. Okay, so we get missiles, and uh, let's slap them with select, and we can shoot through red doors now, and they're good to kill enemies with, and all that fun stuff, so now we have these. I'll proceed through here. And, oh god, why do I, I need to, I need to change something again, I should probably do it off screen though to save you guys, but I need to change shoot and jump. And then this control setting will actually be really good for me. But the way I have it now is, is just no good. It's none good. Okay, so we get our second missile upgrade here. So now we're up to 10 missiles total that we can have. Missile upgrades, as I explained before, um, increase the total amount of missiles that you can have, as well as giving you 5 by default. So, so now we can hold a maximum of 10, which is... Well, not many, but it, that will change. I will have at least over a hundred by the time I beat the game, so that's good. So now we're going to head up. And... I'm kind of just thinking that tonight I have some friends coming over. And, uh, one of my friends, just on a whim, decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the local uh, comic shop and buy some magic cards, so I was like, alright, that's cool. And, you know, like, I had some siblings when I was younger who played magic. And I was like, eh, this could be fun, so he let me borrow one of his decks and we played a little bit, and I was having a lot of fun with it, and I decided, you know, what the hell, I'll, I'll buy my own deck. So I did, and, you know, next thing you know it, just like any of those trading card games, I'm hopelessly addicted, spending way too much money on it, and, uh, just all in all being fiscally irresponsible and uh, spending a ton of money but having a shitload of fun so I have some friends coming over and we're gonna play magic and then one of my friends is bringing over his PS3 and uh, oh, it's just son of a bitch and Final Fantasy 13 which he just picked up so he's gonna be playing through that he is talking to me he's like oh we should do an LP of that and I said yeah um, all you have to do is go ahead and uh, I'm playing on a laptop, so you'd have to do it. Bring a computer with a really nice capture card that captures in HD, and yeah, for sure, we'll definitely play for that, so... Yeah, kind of truncated that conversation. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to try to get to the top of this. Yeah, yeah, here's a good place to end it. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to end it here for now, because we're almost at 15 minutes, and when we come back, we're going to get some new power-ups and continue on with the game. And it should be great. So, I will see you then. Thank you for watching Enemies Unknown Super Metroid LP Redux. Have a good day.